Hello and welcome to a brand new video. So this one is going to be about long tail versus short tail keywords. So I've had a number of people asking me what the difference is, which ones should I be using in my keywords, which ones should I be using in these ads, and which is going to get more searches and clicks. So I'm going to be answering all these different things in this short video today. So thank you for being here and thank you for watching. I just want to say if you're not subscribed to the channel already, then make sure you do that. We're going to hit 2,000 subscribers soon. It would be great if you could help grow the channel with me. And one lucky subscriber is going to win the Royalty Accelerator course once we hit 2,000 subscribers. So make sure in the Facebook group to enter that competition, which will be coming soon. So in this video, we're talking about what's the difference between long tail and short tail keywords, what's going to get more searches and clicks, and which ones should you be using in your back end keywords in those seven all important keyword boxes. So a short tail keyword would be something like lined journal. A long tail keyword would be something like lined journal for girls. An even longer tail keyword would be lined unicorn journal for six year old girls. So it says here, this is really important. Let me highlight this in the pen. Da, 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 this one right here. Long tail keywords doesn't only mean having more words in the string of words, but it also means the keyword is more specific. So you could have something like uh, notebook for athlete, or you could have notebook for runner. So even though these are exactly the same length, this one here, the runner is actually more specific because running is a more specific type of sport than just you know an athlete. So which one is gonna get more searches or clicks? So this is also really important. So short tail keywords are gonna get searched more frequently by customers on Amazon, but there's also gonna be a lot more competition. There's gonna be more people using those keywords. So to get on the first page of search results, when somebody searches one of these words, if you only have short tail keywords in your backend keywords, you'll need a competitive edge. Now that competitive edge may be something like better design, maybe it looks nicer, it's more aesthetic, or maybe your design resonates with customers more, maybe your design is funny, or maybe you just get lucky and it's timed well, uh, you know, maybe in a seasonal niche, something like that. That can help you rank for the first page even if you've only got short tail keywords. And as it says here, long tail keywords get searched for less often because they're more specific or they're more long. So there's gonna be less chance of somebody searching for that exact keyword, but if you do use them and somebody does search them, your book is far more likely to be shown on the first page for that keyword and you're gonna get sales through there. So the big question on everyone's lips is which should you be using in your back end keywords? So should you be using short tail keywords or long tail keywords? And the simple answer, let's grab this green pen here. The simple answer is just use both. That's gonna give yourself a chance to really blow up using those short tail keywords that can make your books go viral, that have a lot of demand on those keywords and also use long tail keywords because when somebody searches for a specific book, if you've got a specific book related to their search, then it's gonna be absolutely perfect and they're gonna buy that book. So the last question down here is which should you be using in your Amazon ads? And the answer to this one again is both. So in the Royalty Accelerator course, I just released a video uh, that shows you how to use Publisher Rocket in order to get thousands of keywords for Amazon ads. Now using Publisher Rocket has been really useful and valuable for me in running my Amazon ads. And I'll put a picture on the screen just up here now of one of my ads. using Publisher Rocket. So obviously with Publisher Rocket, you get a mix of short tail and longer tail keywords. And as we know, having a mix of both of these is what we want. There's a couple more things that I wanna quickly add before the end of the video. So as it says here, long tail keywords, as I did mention, get less search traffic, but they'll usually have a higher conversion value because they're more specific. So if you've got, as I say, a book about unicorns for eight year olds, and you've put that in your keywords, and that's exactly what somebody wants, they're much more likely to buy it than if you just had unicorn book, because that could be a unicorn coloring book for grandmas or something, I don't know. But yeah, as I say, they're more specific, so you're gonna get a higher conversion value. And the last thing I wanted to mention is just in terms of ads. So when you're running ads, if you are using long tail keywords, because there is less competition on those keywords, your bids can be lower. So long term, long tail keywords, they're gonna get searched less, they're gonna have less impressions because there's less demand for the keywords, but you're gonna have higher conversions and you're gonna also have lower bids. So it's really important to just get a mix of both of long and short tail keywords. And as it says here, lower bids. And if you're using short tail keywords, you're gonna get a lot more impressions. You're gonna probably get a lot more ad spend. You're gonna get lower conversions. But if you do wanna scale, then obviously short tail keywords are really useful because if you're only using long tail keywords, then your budget's probably not gonna get used up too quickly because there's not many people searching for those keywords. So let's just do this. More ad spend due to higher search volume, 
lower conversions because they are less specific. And you'll also need higher bids. The same thing applies for every type of keywords. If you're making coloring books for children, then, then I would say that's quite a competitive niche. So if you wanna run ads to that book, you're probably gonna need higher bids. Whereas if you were doing something much more specific and much more, uh, much more rare, such as, uh, I don't know, some really, some really far out niche that you found, then your bids can obviously be lower because there's less people running ads against that. So in the auction system on Amazon ads, you can have a lower bid. So I hope that it's been a really useful video. Hopefully you've learned something from this video. I really was excited when I had the idea to make this video because a few people had been asking me about long tail and short tail keywords. If you do want a way to generate thousands of keywords really, really quickly for your manual Amazon ads, then get Publisher Rocket and I will leave a link in the description below. It will be an affiliate link. So if you do use that link, it will really help out the channel and help me to create these videos and motivate me to create these videos because we all love money, right? So thank you for watching. And as I say, videos are always on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So I'll see you in the next video and don't forget to hit subscribe.